Wonder Read Aloud, chapter title, The Woods Are Alive. Somewhere around that boring part where the guy named Ralph and the oldest daughter are singing, you are 16, going on 17, Jack nudged me. Dude, I gotta pee, he said. We both got up and kind of hopscotched over the kids who were sitting or lying down on the sleeping bags. Some are waved as we passed and I waved back. There were lots of kids from the other schools walking around by the food trucks, playing the carnival games, or just hanging out. Of course, it was a huge line for the toilets. Forget this. I'll just find a tree, said Jack. That's gross, Jack. Let's just wait, I answered. But he headed off to the row of trees at the edge of the field, which was past the orange cones that we specifically were told not to go past. And of course, I followed him. And of course, we didn't have our flashlights because we forgot to bring them. It was so dark now we literally couldn't see 10 steps ahead of us as we walked toward the woods. Luckily, the movie gave off some light, so when we saw a flashlight coming toward us out of the woods, we knew immediately that it was Henry, Miles, and Amos. I guess they hadn't wanted to wait online to use the toilets either. Miles and Henry were still not talking to Jack, but Amos had let go of the war a while ago, and he nodded hello to us as they passed by. Be careful of the bears, shouted Henry, and he and Miles laughed as they walked pa away. Amo shook his head at us like, don't pay attention to them. Jack and I walked a little farther until we, just, we were just inside the woods. Then Jack hunted around for the perfect tree and finally did his business, though it felt like he was taking forever. The woods were loud with strange noise and chirps and croaks, like a wall of noise coming out of the trees. Then we started hearing loud snaps not far from us, almost like cap gun pops that definitely weren't insect noises. And far away, like in another world, we could hear raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Ah, that's much better, said Jack, zipping up. Now I have to pee, I said, which I did on the nearest tree. No way I was going farther in like Jack did. Do you smell that? Like firecrackers, he said, coming over to me. Oh, yeah, that's what it is, I answered, zipping up. Weird. Let's go.